Good morning everybody, welcome to this lovely Wednesday morning. Today we are again going to work with lengthening out our lovely legs, stretching out our hips, we're going to use our blocks and our belts. Okay, so we're just going to start by lying down. Yeah. And come on to your mat as if you're in your shavasana. So take the legs out nice and wide. Relax the arms out wide, side from the body, palms hands facing the ceiling. Smooth out the butt cheeks onto the floor. And just let the whole leg just evolve softly down to the ground. Bring your awareness to your spine. Smooth out the back body. Let the back of the head just rest gently onto the floor. And as we bring ourselves to the start of our practice, just taking a little bit of time out just to center ourselves. Breathe, whatever we don't need to carry onto the mat at the door. And just simply bring our awareness to our breath. Just following every inhale, every exhale, in and out through the mouth. Slowly let the softness into the body, stillness into the mind. Move the lower back against the mat, tuck the knees into the chest, give ourselves a nice big squeeze, thighs into tummy. And exhaling, lengthening the spine, so feeling that the butt cheeks are sort of pressing forwards and down slightly as you draw the knees in. And then just allow the breath to really spread into any tight areas that you feel. Two feet onto the floor, coming into our moving bridge. So feet hips slip about two to three inches away from the buttocks. Heels in line with sit bones, smooth the lower back into the mat, allow the arms just to sit gently on the floor beside your body. And then inhaling, lifting the arms up and over the head, resting on the ground, and as you exhale, press the feet into the mat, curl that lovely tail, float the hips up to the sky. Keeping the hips up nice and high, inhaling, float the arms back down. Slowly and steadily exhaling, peeling the spine back down. And then just continuing with that in your own breath, inhaling, arms up and over. So slow and steady. Exhaling to lift those lovely hips up. And inhaling, gently bring the arms back down. Exhaling, peeling back down. Carry on, a few more of these. Then the nice and slow and steady, real feeling the ripple and the roll and the curl as you lift the hips up. All four corners of the feet nicely nestled into the mat. And just increasing your range of movement as you go. So when you're lifting those hips up, really press the hip bones up to the sky, roll the front chest walk towards the chin. Lovely, the last one. Lovely. So when we come all the way back down again, we're going to again just tuck the knees into the chest, give ourselves a little hug. Lovely. And then just take the knees and widen apart from one another, the toes remain just gently touching. And just draw the knees back and down, just giving a gentle stretch into your hips. Lovely. And then from here, draw the two knees together. Okay, so just a little bit forward. work. You're going to take your hands and just gently rest them on the front of your shoulders so your elbows spill out wide. Okay, and it's like when we do our circles around our hips. You know, when we're sort of gently massaging our lower back, but we're going to take it a little bit deeper. So you're going to draw the knees into the tummy. Okay, press the knees out to the left as far as they can go. 
and sweep the legs low and forward to the front of the mat. Roll them around to the right and bring them up to the right elbow. And so they're big, long, sort of like oval circles. Good. So drop the back to the side, sweep them long and low, roll them around to the other side. Good, one more little roll. Good. Once you've brought them back up to centre and to the left, just let them drop out up nice and high, out to the left. Okay. And just let them hang there for a wee minute, feeling the stretch into the side waist, into your hip, and into your rib cage. Lovely, and then bring them back to centre, we'll go out to the left, so front to the right. So drop the knees out to the right. Sweep them long, low towards the front of the mat. Roll them across, bring them up to the left. So big, long circles. Make sure you fully extend the legs towards the front of your mat to feel that in your core. Yeah. Lastly, big roll around. Good. And then when we get all the way over to the right, just let the knees up as high as we can go, just drop out to the right. Just getting a little stretch into our left waist, left hip, left rib cage. Lovely. And then bringing it all the way back to centre. Give the knees another little tuck right in. Okay. We're going to cross the legs over, roll up to sit. Take the hands forward, step down for walk back into our plank pose. Take a wee moment here, really extending through the legs, grow belly back to spine. And finding that lovely stack of shoulders out over the heels of the hands. Lovely, exhaling, popping the knees on the mat, taking the chest all over between the hands, sliding legs and feet away. And then as we lengthen the legs, roll the shoulders back and press up, inhaling into our cobra pose. Lovely, exhaling to come down, pressing up. To table top, exhaling into downward facing dog. Lovely. And I want us to take about three to five breaths here. So even the legs feel quite tight, okay, just gently lengthen the spine, lengthen the legs, and exhale, just ground into the hands and the feet, softening the shoulders, softening the eye gaze. Lovely, nearly there, one more lovely breath. Just feel yourself getting really nice and long here. Really generate a lift to the sit bones, a reach out to the heels, a lengthening of the arms and the spine. Lovely, then we'll take an eye gaze forward step jump or we'll walk to the front of the mat, to legs and feet together, soft bend to the knees. Let the arms hang loosely down to the ground and soften the crown of the head down to the floor. And just breathe into the buttocks, into the side waist, and into the sacrum, into the tailbone, softening the shoulders, softening the head. Lovely. And then with that soft bend to the knees, just ripple and roll all the way up. So stand floating the arms above the head, looking up. Exhaling the hands to the heart. Lovely. So from here we're going to come into our swinging chest, sweeping the arms up. And so we can then check our bend in the knees, so you can be swinging the arms back. So up, little back bend, exhale. And you can open the arms and do a little ha out as you exhale, ha. And then a ha. Good. And then so we're listening a little bit of a back bend, back stretch as you come up. Lovely. And then last time as we come down, just stay here, do interlace the fingers behind the back. Lift and roll the shoulders back, stretch the arms up and over the head. Maintain that soft bend into the knees so you can really peel the tummy down those thighs, taking the chest all forward. So just allow the arms to stretch up and over here first. Lovely. And then inhale, lift and lengthen those lovely legs. So tilt those sit bones right up to the sky. Breathing strongly, firmly, deeply into the back of those legs, into the shoulders. 
So we're going to crown the head down to the toes. Lovely. One more. And then inhaling into, lift the tongue to the chair pose. So as we come forward, releasing the arms out either in front or up towards the sky, top and tail and center of our legs. Lovely. And then we'll move into our sun salutation B. So exhale, fold it out, full forward fold. Inhaling into our half, we're going to exhale and just let dog will walk back into our plank pose. Generate the down to come into upward facing dog, or if you prefer, just come into the floor for your cobra. So exhaling to come down, inhaling into your back bend. Exhaling the height of your toes on knees on the mat through tabletop into downward facing dog. Okay, we're going to take it nice and slowly. So serve yourself, find the even space in your forelands here. Inhale and throw the right leg up to the sky. We'll stay here for a wee moment as we reach the left heel down to the floor. Push and point into our right foot. Lovely. On the next inhale, keeping the shoulders back, draw that right thigh into the tummy. Squeeze it in. Lovely. Then as we inhale, we're going to take the shoulders forward, stack it out, tuck the nose into the knee. Okay. And don't forget to exhale. And then on our next inhale, we'll step that right foot in between our hands. So that our left heel down, we're going to nicely bend into our right knee. As we come up into warrior one, interlace the fingers, turn the heels and hands to the front of the room, and then sweep the arms up and over the head. Now really press up into the heels and hands, deeper into your right knee. You look down at your foot, you should see your right big toe and second toe. Lovely. We press it back. And then as we inhale to come to the center, plant in the hands before the exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. Exhale in your chosen way to your up facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And again, just recentering here, taking it nice and slow. Inhaling, left leg comes up to the sky. Keep them right heel rooted and grounded. Press and point into your left foot. Stabilize those shoulders evenly. Good. Next inhale, just draws that left thigh into your tummy. Breathing it out. Next inhale, we'll rock the shoulders forward. Press up high on the toe, the left right foot, top nose to me. Good, and then inhaling, stepping that left foot in, swiveling so right heel down, hips forward facing again, interlace those fingers, heels and hands, floating up to the sky, press right up into those heels and hands, exhale, little back bend here. And then as we inhale, we'll float it down to the mat, exhaling, inch forward down, facing dog. Inhaling forward, plank pose, exhaling then to the floor. Cobra up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spending a little bit of time here now. So do check the placement of your hands on the mat. Okay? You want to really feel the base of the fingers drawing into the mat, around the base of the thumb, little finger. And then having a little check at the feet, making sure that you feel that the insteps are also active. Lovely. So if you feel yourself crowding your ears with your shoulders, feel like you're around the shoulder blades to slide down the back a little bit and the biceps are pulling out a little bit rather than rolling down and in. Lovely. I go forward, step down the walk, front of the mat. Full forward fold, exhale. Inhaling, and look at our slow chair pose. Tucking that lovely tail, relax the shoulders. See all those ten toes just gently in front of your knees. Lovely. And then inhale all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands down. Give yourself a little moment here. Centering the balance on both feet. Lovely. Breath 
Blow the arms up as we inhale. Again, we're going to exhale through our chair pose all the way down to the full full stop. Inhale, half. Exhale again to step jump or walk back plank pose coming through your vinyasa to your back bend. Big inhale. Exhale in there, which facing dog. Same thing, floating right leg up to the sky. Staying here for a moment, getting the lift and the length. And you really feel like you're pressing that right leg up and over the back. Next inhale, we'll tuck that right thigh in again, squaring off those hips. As you inhale, to come forward behind the toe, the left foot, shoulders are stacking out. Just over the heels of the hands and the correct nose to me. So really curly spine here. Lovely. And then we'll step that right foot in between the hands, swivel that left heel there. Inhale as we float the arms coming behind our back, this time interlacing fingers. Lift the shoulders up, roll them back. Inlocate those arms. Lovely. And as we deepen into the bend into our right knee, draw the hands back and down that left leg. Puff up that lovely chest wall. Yeah. And then as we inhale, float the arms up. Exhaling all the way down, right leg goes back down, facing dog. Inhale forward, plank pose, exhaling, dry down that side. We'll simply to the floor for your cobra. Big inhale into your back breath. Exhale down to face and dog. Lovely. Our next inhale is going to float our left leg up again. And again, push point into that left foot and draw the leg over towards the front of the mat while similarly keeping your right heel nicely grounded and the left shoulder stabilized. Next inhale, we're scoring off the pelvis, we're tucking that left thigh into our tummy. As we rock forward on our next inhale, hang the toe, nose to knee, round and curl. Really press those hands into the left. And then we'll step that left foot in, so we'll our right heel down. Inhale as we come up again, hands behind the back. Inhale, our shoulders roll up. Slide those shoulders and then down. And as we deepen into the bend in our left knee, we might have to shimmy that foot forward. We're going to press the arms back and down that right leg. Puff up that lovely chest wall. Lovely. And then we float the arms up. Exhaling back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, plank. Exhaling again. Really draw those triceps in nice and tight too. The rib cage. Exhaling down, facing dog. And again, we're going to find our space here and just increase the length of our body. So, think about that an upside down V shape. So, if you feel yourself buckling into your elbows, press into the four corners of the hands and lengthen to your hips. And again, active feet, okay? So if you're finding the heels are soft, you wanna really root back onto those heels, lift up into the sit bones, draw that up into the spine. Soft on the toes, but feel them grounded, also on the floor. Lovely. And then we'll step down and walk back to the front of the mat. So forward fold as we exhale. Lovely. And then inhale and rope the tass to the chair pose, tucking the tails, sweep the arms up, relax the shoulders, stretching the right hips. And then inhale all the way up, exhale, hands to front centre, and again, even just with the eyes closed here, relax into the shoulders. Tend to sit slightly back into the heels. Okay, so if that's the 
okay, so you're, you've got the legs fully extended, bend the knees a little bit, tilt forward a little bit, and then lift the sit bones up. And you'll feel the tummy evolving down those thighs just a little bit easier for you. So we can walk the hands forward, we can walk them back, we can wrap them around the back of the legs. And then inhaling, good, half, full, forward, full. And then again, we'll step down, walk back, quite close, exhaling through our vinyasa, cobra, or up the facing dog as we inhale. Exhaling to down, facing dog. Lovely, taking the hands out as wide as the mat, bring them up a little bit closer, step the legs and feet together. And then we'll just do a little jump through. So from here, even if you end up just sort of sitting on your legs, easy crossed, that's good. But we take the eye gaze forward. And as we bring the shoulders forward, to hop forward, just cross the legs over and sweep them through. Brilliant. And pop them down. Lovely. So from here, grab the belts and we'll lay down. Nice find a comfortable place for your head. <laughs> Lovely. I have to think about having lots of hair and it gets in the way. So we're going to start with our right leg. Taking the belt around the broadest part of the right foot, lift the right leg up to the sky. So we've got even spacing, okay, with the belt. All right. We've got the shoulders resting on the mat and we've got tension working from the belt here. Okay. If you don't need your belt, you can use it. Yeah. So as we inhale, press the elbows out wide, draw the leg over. And as we exhale, soften right down the back of the leg into this loop. We feel like it's been drawn and grounded into the mat. Okay. You're continuously breathing as you inhale, you're taking the leg over another little bit. And as you exhale, you're softening into your glute. Okay. Now, if you've got a quite a marked bend in your knee and you're pulling your leg over, bring it forward a little bit so that you're working deep from the glute into that hamstring. Lovely. So wherever you're at here, then we're going to slip and slide our left leg away. Now as we slide left leg away, really draw the heel away from you, draw the toes towards you and keep yourself working into that right leg. Good. Lovely. So taking a hold of the belt, we're going to swing the right leg out to the side. So we want to keep our left butt cheek on the mat. Take a couple of little hip rolls. So we're sort of like just massaging in that hip socket. And then we'll bring it out nice and wide. Okay. And do uh, okay. What I want you also to try and do is swing the leg up a little bit higher so it comes up past your ear. Okay, and fully relax into your right groin, the right hip crease inside back. Left side active to stop you spilling, okay. And big breaths, okay. So you should be able to hear that breath moving in and out through the nose. Sometimes we'll quite naturally come into your UJ breathing here where there's that little bit of compression in the throat because you're really focusing on what you're doing. Lovely. And then as we bring that leg back to centre, okay, we are just going to simply swing it all the way out to the left. So we're taking the belt in our left hand, pressing out to our heel on that left leg so that the leg's not sort of flopped out. We're going to keep that left leg really active. And then the same thing here, we'll soften onto our right shoulder, sweep that lovely right leg up higher to the top edge of the mat. Lovely, and then as we come back to centre, okay, lower the right leg a little bit, cross the left leg over, okay, lovely. So we've got a soft bend in our left knee, if left foot's hanging over, okay. You might not need to hold on to that, we're going to get hold of the little toe side of your right foot, okay, little toe side of your left foot, pull apart, okay, and pull down towards you. 
Yeah, so you might reach your hands on that up. So you're pulling the feet apart, so keeping your right leg straight and your left leg hooked over. And you're pulling back and down, but simultaneously sending that tailbone down into the mat. So you should feel quite a nice, nice stretch in your IT band here on your right leg. Lovely, and then we'll release it out. Pop the two feet onto the mat, this time working with our left leg, so taking the belt around that broadest part on the floor of the feet. Nice to begin our elbows splay out wide, leg moves over the head, we're walking the hands up the belt. Okay, or maybe you've just got hold of the two side edges of your feet. So every inhale, the elbows are going out wide and the hands are walking up the belt. And if you're not holding on to your belt here, then you're just keeping the elbows wider, wider, wider as you bring that leg over. Relaxing into your butt cheek. Then we'll slide our right leg away, press into the heel, draw the toes towards the nose. You'll feel a pull back on that left leg. So if it needs to pull back a little bit, let it relax back a bit and continue bringing the leg up and over. Lovely, then we'll take the belt into that left hand to draw our little hip circles. Yeah. And then we'll hip circle it all the way up, out and down to the left. Okay, keeping that right leg nice and active. Okay, and then taking that left foot higher to the back of the mat. So we're out, down and higher and we're pressing out to that right heel. Yeah. So, when we take the leg out, we pull tension into the body because we're trying to stabilize it. So, try and find that happy medium to relax, but not let yourself sort of flop. Okay? Lovely. And then we'll bring it back to center belt into the right hand, and then you'll go all the way out to the right side. Okay, relaxing the foot down onto the floor. Turning our gaze to the left side, baby, super the leg up a little bit higher. Pressing out to your right heel, so try and keep that right leg as active as possible. It will naturally want to swing out off the, off the mat. Lovely, and then we'll bring that leg back to centre, lower it down a little bit, cross our right leg all the way over. Okay, so again, you might not need your belt. You can just grab onto the two side edges of the feet, pull the legs apart and pull them down. And then smooth into your tailbone. So press that tailbone down, down, down. It's like an antagonist action. You draw it away and back and then press it down. Hold it one more breath here. Yeah, really grow back down and out. Super, we'll get rid of the belt, pop it out to the side, um, put the legs, come into easy cross and roll over the feet, hop, skip, jump back to your plank pose. Exhale, Jarrah and Adasana to a cobra or up the facing dog. Good, exhale and down the facing dog. Lovely, inhale, including our right leg up to the sky. Lovely, lift, length and press. Now, I really feel that you can center that left heel back and then draw back. So float the leg up higher. And then we'll tuck that right knee into chest and we'll step the right foot in between the hands. Find low lunge position first. And then heel turn your right foot over so that your right little toe side sits where your right big toe was. Okay? And we'll come into our floating pigeon here. So as we roll onto the side edge of our right foot, we're going to let the knee spill out wide. Okay? We'll take the hands out a little bit wide, here, palms the hands to the fingers, we'll let the elbows spread out wide. And as we press back to our left heel and spill our right knee out, we're just as if we're coming down through the plank pose. Okay. So you can let the ball onto your forearms if you want, okay. or you're pressing off the arms. So you want to keep the ankle of the right foot off the mat here. It's the side edge of the foot's really active, so draw the toes towards 
the ankle in that right foot and just press the right knee out and sink a little bit lower. And we breathe. One more breath here. Good. Keep that back leg nice and up. So we're going to push back up. Okay. And then just simply slide that right leg on over, drop the right shin down to the floor, coming into our pigeon pose. So we're going to simply slide that left leg away. Good. Squaring off our hips. Press onto your fingertips, lift and lengthen. Good. So occasionally encouraging that back leg to lengthen away, softening into your left hip crease, right hip. And just place the back of the right hand on the right hip and let the elbow soften down and the shoulder soften down to the floor. So this is nice and relaxing. Really smooth into the breath. Just keep thinking of letting go. Lovely. And then when we bring ourselves to centre, okay, loving your curl toe under in that left foot, walk that left leg in. So we're two and a half to three. We're going to sweep and scoop our right leg back up to the sky. Good. And bend the knee and press the knee up to the ceiling. Keep pushing the knee up, softening into your left heel. Good. Now, when you lift your hands, your hands are shoulder width here, okay? You're going to take that right foot and step it to your right little finger side, okay? And then from here, shimmy away that left leg so we're in our wide waist, low lunge position, okay? Draw the right knee onto the right shoulder, right arm. Send your left hip bone to your left elbow. Breathe it out here. Just one more breath here, okay? And then as we drop our left knee directly behind our left wrist, okay, we're going to come into our lizard pose. So you may need a block underneath your right forearm right elbow. So bring the left elbow down first and then the right. Suction everything in. Okay. If you are relatively comfortable here, okay, you might just need a wee slither of the tablet underneath that right forearm. Keep the right knee in and then lift that back knee off the mat again. So squeezing everything into that centre space. Left hip still feels like it's been drawn forward to your left elbow. And your right knee su suctioning into your shoulder. Good. One more breath here. Then plant the hands back in between. Okay. As you send yourself back, they hop your left foot in a little bit, swivel the heel down, straighten out your right leg. You're going to keep the left arm where it is, and then we're going to feed right arm towards the back of the mat. And lift our right shoulders and right side slide to the inside of that right leg. And then walk the hands in the opposite direction. So left hand's walking forward, right arm's walking to the back of the mat. Take it behind that heel if you can. Bow out that head. Sneak it in and on a little bit. Lift the right butt cheek up. Send your left hip forward so you'll feel a little extra pull in your right leg as you send left hip forward. Lovely. And then we'll replace the hands here. Okay. We're going to step back into our plank pose. Exhaling all the way to the floor. Okay. Slide the legs out wide, turn the insteps into the ground. Okay, so finding where you can comfortably place the insteps to start off with. 
If you brought them down, then you think, well, that's comfortable enough, slide them in a little bit closer to one another. So find your comfortable place first, and then coming up onto your forearms. So in our alligator pose, we want to really engage inside your thighs, into the mat, in steps, into the ground. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to keep the pelvis pressed into the floor, but concave, so we're sucking belly up to the bone, and drawing chin into chest. And press into the inside thighs. Don't let that pelvis float off the mat. Keep pressing in the inside thighs, in steps. Lovely, and then as we release the back, bring the legs hip slip, slide the hands back and underneath the shoulders, pressing into your downward facing dog as you exhale. Give yourself about two breaths here, resetting. And then we'll inhale, float our left leg up to the sky. Push and point into that toe, stabilize your shoulders, reach the leg of the head. And then we'll set that left leg in between our hands, finding that low lunge position first. Okay. And then heel toe in your left foot over, so your left foot toe sits where your right big toe was. Sorry, left big toe was. Okay. Walking the arms out a little bit wider, let your knees spill out to the side, side edge of your left foot. So it's really important to keep these toes really active because if you soften them, you'll probably end up rolling. So you want to keep the foot active. We're pressing back into our way here. We may be coming onto our forearms here and pressing and softening into that left hip, reaching back into our right here. So as if you want to lie down on that foot. Breathe nice and steady and easy. Lovely. And then we'll pop the hands off the mat and we'll slide that left foot all the way over so we can come into pigeon pose. So again, walking the right leg back, making sure it's in line with its hip drawing. I love your right hip forward, sweeping our left up to your cap, just coming onto your tippy fingers, lift and let go. Occasionally get creep in that right leg back. Good. And then we'll thread the needle of the right hand behind the left all the way through. Relax and radiate onto the shoulder, left arm. Reach up first and then straight the back of the hand, rest onto your left hip. Let your left shoulder, left elbow just break down to the mat. to our center point, we're going to curl the child in the right foot, walk that right leg in so we can lift and float our left leg up to the sky, bending that left knee, press the left knee up to the sky, make it your highest point, an active foot, so drawing the foot out towards your right little finger, centering into your left right heel, good, so making sure your hands are shoulder width here again, we're going to step left foot to left of the finger side. Wide face lunge pose to slide away that right leg. Square everything off first. Okay. So you want to feel, okay, not that the left hip, okay, on the left knee is spilling out. You want to suction it into your left tricep. You want to feel that your right hip is moving forward towards your right elbow as you press back to your heel. So it's how you place and position and put the action into this here that's going to make you feel the stretch. Good, and then we'll pop our right knee down directly behind our hand, coming into our forearms for our lizard. So again, bring the axis, the elbow comes where the hand was, and the same with that left side. 
Again, placing a block underneath the left elbow if you need to. And drawing that lovely left knee into the shoulder. If you're comfortable here, we're going to lift and raise our right knee off the mat. So again, right knee feels like it's really lifted. Right hips coming towards the right elbow. Left knee suctioned in. So pressing to the heel, drawing forward to the hip. I gaze centered. Lovely, and then we'll pop the hands back again, shoulder width, we'll step back into a plank pose. Exhale, inhaling into the upward facing dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog, and we're spending again a few wee breaths here. I shouldn't say a few wee breaths, a few big breaths. So keep continuously like a, a body scan going on here, okay? So maybe you're bringing your awareness to your hands, maybe you're realizing that I need to ground a little bit more, okay? And then whilst you're doing that, you suddenly forgot what your feet are doing. So continually sending like a scan of awareness through your whole body. Lovely, last big breath here. And then we'll step our left foot in between our hands to gently walk it around. So take the breath from squats with you, okay? And walk it around. So about two and a half to three feet in distance, okay? Feet nice and parallel to one another, okay? So again, we've got the toes lined up. We've got the heels lined up, so we're all nice and straight. And so from here, we're going to bring ourselves through our body here. So we're going to turn the fingertips to face the back of our mat, okay? And gently creep and walk them through, okay? So you have a couple of options here. What you can do is literally curl the fingers around your mat and use it as like a hook point. You can take your blocks through your mat, and if you're not, if your forward fold can't be as deep as you want it to be, you've got elevation with the blocks behind you, you can place your hands on the blocks and pull yourselves through. So find something that works for you, because we're going to stay here for a wee while. Okay, you can have that sort of little rock forward heel to toe as well, okay? But you want to breathe really strongly and deeply into those lovely legs. Okay, into the waist into the shoulders. So keep sweeping through. If you are using the blocks, make sure the edge of the block sits at the edge of the mat so when you're pulling yourself, the blocks don't come with you. Right? So keep drawing yourself through. Drawing yourself through. Maybe you're through that much. Maybe you want to place a block behind the other block and take your hands way back. If you can see what I'm doing there, you can take a block behind a block and really push those arms through so that they come right behind you. So try to snuggle the side edges of the shoulders right in between those legs. Okay? It takes a wee bit of time to settle into this. You know, so you can. Give yourself as much time as you can. Oops, my blocks pop, pop forward. So you're almost looking up at the ceiling. Lovely. And then we're going to bring ourselves forward. Okay. From here, heel toe of the feet in. About a foot and a half. What feels comfortable for you? Turn the toes out at a 45 degree angle and sit down into your nice deep squat. So when we're bringing ourselves into this, I want you to really feel that the butt cheeks are sinking down into the floor. So it's almost as if the bum is swinging through the legs. Okay, 
If you want, which is a nice thing to do as well, is you can just take a block and sit on your block. So if you're finding this quite challenging, take your block and sit on it. Okay, so what we want to do now is really press the knees out wide. Okay. Good. Now we're going to take the arms out wide and push against the insides of the legs. So you can sit on your block here if you want, or you can graze your butt cheeks on the edge of the block. Keep pressing it out. And pressing it out. Lift those chest walls, drop and sink the bones down and sweep the butt cheeks through the legs. And just balancing here. Lovely. One more breath here. Great. And then bring ourselves up. Straighten out those feet again. Give yourself a little rock forwards and back. Lovely. So from here, bend in the knees. Hang down. Okay. We're going to take our left shoulder, left arm through the leg. Okay, and place the back of the hand on our butt cheek. Okay, now from here, okay, you can keep your right hand on the floor, or you can let your right arm come all the way behind you and interlace your fingers. Okay, with the head crown your right hand down to the mat, we want to straighten our legs. Now in this wide base position, so from here, straighten the legs. So really feel that working on your shoulders, stretching out the shoulders. Good. And re-bend the knees, getting a little bit deeper into it, and then straighten the legs again. So the more you can straighten into that left leg, the more you're getting that shoulder through. Lovely, and then releasing it out. Same with the right arm. So we're smoothing it as far through as we want to get the shoulder in behind that thigh. Right arm's resting back. You can reach up with your left hand, interlace the fingers. Okay. And then from here, really drop the crown of the head to the floor and just straight it out the legs. And simply rest on your forearms, rest on your elbows. Okay. So again, taking the time to evolve into this. Okay, everything just needs a little bit of time to stretch out. Lovely, one lovely 
big breath in. Stretch the legs away and out a little bit. Exhale, just melt and fold. Lovely. And then we'll slide the hands in. Okay, so we're going to keep one leg on the block. So take off your right leg. Okay? Lovely. You can keep it tucked in. Okay, but it's probably better for it to be out, out of the way. All right, so this block, bring it in a little bit closer to you, okay? And bend the knee and slide it in. So hopefully your blocks can slide on what you have here. And you're gonna come up onto your heel on that block, okay? So from here, let's bring the elbows down to the ground. Okay, once we've brought the elbows down to the ground, we're gonna release the left arm and the left shoulder in underneath that left thigh. Good. And then from here, do whatever you want with your right arm. Okay. Just lengthen through the body, slide that lovely block away and just come down into a fold. Okay. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a bit, don't use your block. This is just giving you a little bit of height and elevation so you're not really swishing the shoulder. If you want to challenge yourself, then it's no block at all, in and under, and extend the leg out in front of you. Now drive away to that left heel and really plaster the whole of that inside left arm shoulder down into the floor. So lengthen, lengthen away to left heel, draw your left sit bone back, press the shoulder into the mat. Lovely, and then up we come. And you can do the same on the other side. So again, you can use your block, but it's more just to give you a little bit of elevation, the heels on the block, okay? Bring your right elbow in low. So, that's it. So, as you push the elbow out, literally lift the elbow smooth, slide the arm out, okay? Press the shoulder and then slide the leg away. Okay. Good, how are we doing? Okay, remember again, if you don't need the block, don't use it. So you can take the foot off, drop the shoulder, bring it in, and then slide it away. And just breathe. So really push away that right leg. The more you slide that heel away, draw the sit bone back. And always lovely big breaths. Lovely. And then we'll come back to centre. So doing the two legs together, again you can start with your heels on the block. Or you can start with your heels on the floor, okay? Now, don't have them too wide. Bring them sort of just down on line, okay? Draw your sit bones back, press the elbows down into the ground. Sweep the arms out, okay? And then slide those lovely heels away. And similarly, you can do it without the box. So you just take your heels on the mat, okay? This is a variation of your tortoise pose. So drive the elbows down, tuck the arms in right behind those lovely thighs. Okay, use your heels to slide the legs away. Now I know you get very often close and personal to the ground. But draw your sit bones back, press your heels away, relax into your front chest wall. One more breath here. And then slide those heels back in, releasing the arms, bring the soles of the feet together, take the knees out wide, just come into a little sort of shake it out cobblers. Brilliant. 
So from here, we've got some training to get the shoulders through. So, we're going to work on our left leg first. So just drop your right foot down to the floor. Lift your left leg up. Pull it back. Good. So we want the knee to sneak out behind the shoulder, the armpit, the rib cage. Okay. And then we're going to drop our left arm in and use the left hand to elevate the foot and leg up a little bit higher and over we go. Good. So really bringing it in. Okay, just stay here for a moment. So if this leg is not active, if you're just letting it sort of hang there, it's going to fall off. All right. So once you've brought it in, you've got to squeeze it into your shoulder and then place the hand in nice and snug. Okay, so again, you can put a block there, but if you're using a block there, you'll need a block on the other side as well. Okay, once it's suctioned in there, extend your right leg away. So we're suctioned into the two side hips, either on blocks or off blocks. Okay, active legs, active feet, belly button to spine, and then we lift. Good. If you've managed to lift, you can cross your leg over. Just breathe. One more breath, get another go, that's it. And then down we go, hold up. And then release out that left leg. Nice and soft, we're gonna work on our right. We'll lift the foot up, and we'll pull that leg and knee back. And really pull it back. Good. And then we'll take our right arm inside, use the hand to lift the leg up, suction it in. So keep thinking, I'm just going to hook it over. If you have a straight back, you'll find it harder. So it's a roll and curl. Okay. Roll and curl, lift and squeeze. Once you've lifted and squeezed, then you press into it by straightening up again. Right hand's coming in close. Left hand's coming in close. Left leg stretching away. Okay, and then we'll lift the bump. And then you can cross it over if you want. And breathe. Well done. Lovely. And then pop it down. The soles the feet together again. Wrap the fingers around the toes. Big lift to lengthen. And as we exhale, let's take a fold here. So from here, again, lengthen forward. Okay. Rather than rounding and curling, feel like you're lengthening from your belly button forward into your front ribs. And then the rib cage is reaching forward, reaching forward. So we don't feel like the belly button's been squished into the spine, we feel like the belly button's drawing forward. And there we go. Good, keep pressing the knees out wide. That's lovely. Can we get the sternums down to our toes? One more breath. Okay, if you want, you can take the arms out in front of you. But if you ping back up because you're not pressing the thighs out and reaching, just take the hands back to the feet. Good. Can we get the side thighs down onto the mat? Big, big breath. Lovely, and then we'll slide it all the way back. Lovely, just roll it around. Gently lie down, tuck the knees into the chest wall. And we'll come in into our bridge pose. So, feet hips swift, two to three inches away from the bollocks, palms the hands on the mat. As you press into the feet, roll and curl hips up to the sky. Okay. And then from here, we'll slide the hands in underneath, back interlace the fingers, roll onto the side edges of our shoulders, and press those hips up a little bit higher. Good. And stay here for a few breaths. So press triceps into the floor, little finger side into the floor. Chest wall to chin, hips to sky, feet rounded. Lift up, belly button up 
Come up and up a little bit. One more really big lift. Lovely, and then gently release things down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slide those shoulders out. And then we'll gently lift the knees into the chest. Give ourselves a nice little squeeze here. A little roll from side to side. And then just cross the right leg over the left, put the left foot down, walk the left foot out slightly, and just spill the knees out to the right. Smooth out the shoulders. And gently turn the head to the left. So just realigning, taking that left leg all the way over, walking the right foot out slightly, spilling the knees out to the left, and then again just to the right. into our center point, give us our final last little hug, and then we'll take the feet out nice and wide, smooth the legs away, just resting the hands on the front hip bones, relax the elbows into the earth, just taking a few moments to hang out now, just to let all physical activity go, bring back a lovely stillness into our mind. Just by simply observing the flow of breath as it enters and leaves the body. Over the a few moments, a few minutes of focused breathing a couple of times a day will significantly reduce the levels of stress. Gently balancing out your hormones. And just giving a nice little pause point from which to recommence. Set your intention and give yourself permission to breathe and stop. Lovely. So we'll just 
Wriggle those elbows up, toes out, and work out the fingers. Come and take a seated stretch. Pull the head out, right before you lift them up, rib cage, spreading out the ribs. And then as a man, just gently walk the feet in. Give yourself one last little hug. And then rolling up as you cross it. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.